It's Monday morning here at the manufactured home in Jensen Beach, Beachside, and run into a bit of a problem. Now, when I was given this job, it was basically to come over and put a second coat on to cover up areas that were, I guess you'd call them flat, because this is a uh, satin paint that's going on the outside. Now, I had asked if this place was primed prior to the first coat, and I was told it was, but uh, Thursday afternoon, you know, I, I put the second coat on this place and wanted to see what it looked like Friday morning when I got back, and Friday morning I came back and this place looked worse than it did when I first started. So I did a little probing and investigating and uh, I've come to determine that this place was not primed before the first coat. Uh, there's a few spots around the house that I can tell that there was no primer put on. And I don't know if it's going to be visible on camera here, but if you look down this wall, you can see areas that are flat, areas that are shiny, and that also tells me that there was no primer put on this material because the type of material this is, like I said, it, it's a concrete based material. Um, it's very porous, so it absorbs paint like a sponge. Now, if there was a flat paint going over this, um, you would never be able to tell. Since this is a satin finish and it has a, a bit of a shine to it, um, it just it looks terrible. So, what myself and the contractor had decided to do is start this whole place from scratch. Uh, so what I'm going to do, well, the reason we're going to do this is, for one, um, to make sure the customer's happy with what she gets, and two, uh, to protect our reputation, you know, um, that's what you go on when you're working in this kind of business. So today I'm going to mask off all the windows and everything and spray a primer on to get this place sealed up. And then once that's dry, I'm going to go over with the, with the color again. Let's see, look down this wall, you might be able to see it on camera. It just looks really bad. So, as far as this goes, um, sometimes uh, an easy job turns into a nightmare, and sometimes you just got to eat it. So. Uh, I'm not happy about it. Contractor's not happy about it, but once again, you know, my motto is uh, do whatever you got to do to get the job done and, of course, get it done right. And number one priority is make sure the customer's happy.